Hey, school is back in session, and that means it's time for us to recognize the great work our teachers do, too. And the teacher receiving the first award of the 2016-2017 school year sets the bar high. Cuatro, un, dos, un, dos, Yeah. The sound of Cuban music can be heard from Mr. Tim Owen's classroom. The Spanish teacher at Hopkins High School brings the culture to the students, but also the students to the culture, and that's what makes him an excellent educator. You have been awarded an excellent educator. Oh Congratulations. Thank, thank you. This is unbelievable. Is this... This is real. This is real. In su clase de español, Tim Owen may teach his students how to speak the Spanish language, but his goal is to connect them to the people. I've always wanted to build bridges between cultures because I see a lot of, uh, I see the way that different groups of people, different cultures tend to separate themselves. And um, this is a great opportunity for me to help bridge my students to, a, uh, to interacting with uh, Latin American cultures. Mr. Owen first got to know Latin culture during many trips to Central America. He's visited Nicaragua more than a dozen times, lived in Costa Rica, and studied in Cuba and Mexico. He took all of what he learned home to enrich his curriculum for his Spanish students at Hopkins High School. Un, dos, tres, his Un, lessons dos, reach tres, beyond language. Salsa is one of my great passions. <laughs> After school hours, Mr. Owen manages Cuban band Salsa Brosa that performs around the Twin Cities and also makes appearances in his classroom. I bring musicians here to perform and tell their stories and to sing with the students and to, so that students are connecting with, with the local Latino community, which is very important. The learning happens outside class as well. Students have joined Mr. Owen at live salsa performances and even traveled to Central America with him to experience the culture firsthand. You get to see, th see the world through another lens and it makes your life better. Vamonos. But Mr. Owen cares about the culture at school too, which is why he leads a student group that works to make the school more inclusive. Last year, those students helped create Hopkins High School's first gender neutral bathroom. The principal says his enthusiastic attitude is contagious. When somebody else does something that's maybe outside of um, kind of the, the basic expectations, other people step up and do the same thing. Un, dos, tres. Un, dos, tres. Just as much as he gives, Mr. Owen says he gets back from the people he cares most about. I love my students. I, I just, I, I'm inspired by them every day. All right, so Mr. Owen was a teacher at another school right after college, but he says that he lacked confidence. He didn't think his teaching abilities were good. He said he didn't have the gift of teaching in him, so he took a break. He got out of teaching for 10 years, oh. and then mm. someone convinced him when this position opened up to take it, and he did, and he thrived. And look at now, he's an excellent educator. So I think it shows that if you have a passion for something, if you love something, mm -hmm. don't give up because you could become excellent at it. Do, does he have a favorite Latin American country that he visited during Ooh. all of his trips? Well, he, I, he talked a lot about Mexico, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it's really tough for him. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, you could tell that he absolutely has a passion for salsa. By the way, that video was shot at 7.45 in the morning on a Monday. With those kids. <laughs> on a our, Monday. Honestly, kids our, awesome. We should give the kids a award for tolerating <laughs> yes, a camera okay. and yes, then doing salsa should. dancing. <laughs> That would not have gone well for me at 16. <laughs> but it was all fun for us to watch. All right, well, if you have an excellent educator, we are officially taking nominations. Just head to the WCCO Morning Facebook page or email it to morning at WCCO.com.